speaking of moving to the Oklahoma City area and you're thinking about the Edmond area, well, you are in luck. This is the complete Edmond video. We're gonna be talking about the pros and cons. We're gonna be looking at a couple different neighborhoods at a couple different price points. You are absolutely not gonna wanna miss this video, so stick around, we're gonna get right into it. Thank you so much for joining us here today. If you've been thinking about moving to the Oklahoma City area, there's no doubt about it when doing your research, you've most certainly heard about the Edmond, Oklahoma area. You may have heard it's a safe area with great schools, great for raising a family. Well, all of those things are true. So we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get into the pros and cons, looking through a few neighborhoods at a couple of different price points. I'm gonna tell you my personal favorite neighborhoods throughout the Edmond area. But first, if you're thinking about moving to the Oklahoma City area, whether in the next few weeks or a few months from now, I would love the opportunity to have a conversation with you. You're going to find my contact information in the description below, so please feel free to shoot me a call, a text, or an email, and I will certainly get back to you to see what I can do to help guide you through the purchase of your new home here in the OKC area. Now, first things first, a ways back, we did a video on the pros and cons of the Edmond area, so we're going to highlight some of those in this video. We're going to start with the pros, and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Now, the first thing I'd like to mention on our list of pros is the vast number of public parks available in Edmond, Oklahoma. There are an estimated 26 parks in Edmond, Oklahoma, including Arcadia Lake, Hafer Park, Mitch Park, and many, many others, many of which include biking trails, walking trails, playgrounds for the kids, just kind of something for everybody. And I know, at least for me, as somebody who likes to spend a good amount of time outdoors, having a good amount of parks in a city is an important feature to have, and Edmond definitely has that. The next pro on our list today is that Edmond has some of the best schools in Oklahoma. In fact, overall, Edmond schools are actually ranked number one in the entire state. Among those, Deer Creek Schools is the best district in the state, boasting a 96% graduation rate, which again, is the highest in the state. Now, this next pro is a little more anecdotal, but as somebody who's lived in the Oklahoma City Metro my entire life, I can say, driving all over the Oklahoma City Metro, that in Edmond, the roads just seem nicer and more well put together. There's really nowhere that I can think of driving through any parts of Edmond where you're gonna hit a random pothole or just drive on rough older roads. Pretty much everywhere I drive throughout Edmond feels like newer roads. I'm not sure really what is the reasoning behind that. It does seem like there are often some construction happening there, but I think as a result of that, they're often fixing up the roads a little more quickly than other places in the Oklahoma City Metro. And that just really makes for a better driving experience on what seems like much nicer roads. Another pro of the Edmond area is that, you know, Edmond often gets viewed as just another suburb in the northern side of the Oklahoma City Metro, but really Edmond is very much its own city. And again, with a population of around 93,000 people, Edmond is very much a nice little self-sustaining city with its own shopping, restaurants, entertainment districts. And truthfully, if you live there, there's not any real pressing need to leave the Edmond area. It kind of has everything that you'll need. And the last thing I'll share on our pros list today is that even though Edmond is its own little city over here on the northern side of the Oklahoma City Metro, there's nothing really prohibiting you from enjoying everything in Oklahoma City proper, just in terms of distance. As an example, in Edmond, Oklahoma, you're only about 15 minute drive from downtown Oklahoma City, and you're only about 25 minutes from the Oklahoma City Will Rogers Airport. So it pretty much provides all the benefits of Oklahoma City living while also living in your own little self-sustaining city. All right, so now you've got a good idea of the pros and the Edmond area. And don't worry, we're going to get into some of the cons a little bit later in the video. But before we do, I want to take you to show you some of the homes in the 300,000s in a couple of my favorite neighborhoods in West Edmond. So let's check them out. Now, a little bit about Edmond. It is one of the fastest growing uh, suburbs here in the Oklahoma City Metro, uh, somewhere around 97,000 uh, population. So just a very fast growing community here. Today, what we're focusing on is homes in the $300,000 range. Most of the homes here are somewhere in the three to $400,000 range, so I thought it was a good place to start. This is listed right behind me at 338 
This particular home here is, you're gonna get a lot of square footage for that. Um, built in 2012, you get a huge backyard and really a lot of uh, square footage. Um, that one's listed at 338, comes down to about 151 per square foot. We are still here in the Grove community here in Edmond, Oklahoma, and uh, just jumped over a couple streets here. So as you kind of look down the street, you can get a good glimpse of, you know, what this neighborhood really looks like. So this one here is listed right behind me at 396. So, you know, we're talking about the high threes here. Um, and this one has, it's another one with a lot of square footage. So we're talking about um, 2,300, just under 2,400 square feet. And uh, that one is a four bed as well with uh, two bathroom and three car garage on that one. Listed right at 167 a square foot. Here's what I'd like to do is jump over to the Valencia neighborhood, which is pretty nearby as well. Kind of similar, has homes in that same price range here in Edmond, Oklahoma. So I will hop over there and we'll see you here in a bit. See ya. So we are over here in the Valencia neighborhood. And uh, this is another one of those neighborhoods I really, really like here. And so the home I wanted to take a glance at here, uh, we're walking up on right now, is listed at 353. It is just under 2,000 square feet. And 2019 build, uh, right at 180 a square foot. And so this gets you here in Edmond, Oklahoma, in the Valencia neighborhood, uh, 353 gets four bedrooms. It is a craftsman style build. One of the builders here really likes these craftsman style builds, which gives a really unique look to this neighborhood. So here in Valencia, just the same street, we got another craftsman home I just wanted to take a glance at, and it is listed right at 347. Um, has three bed, two bath, has a massive backyard in this one. So very similar square footage, also listed at 180 a square foot. Once again, this is Valencia here in Edmond and just kind of wanted to give you guys a good idea of another one of my favorite neighborhoods in this part of Edmond that really just has some great homes in that $300,000 range. All right, so now you're starting to get a feel for what some of the homes look like in the Edmond area, and that one's specifically in the 300,000s. So next, I wanna take you into a few beautiful neighborhoods and show you some homes in the 400,000s. And while we're doing that, go ahead and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. All right, here we go. It is a beautiful day out here in the eastern side of Edmond, where I want you to look at a three bed, two bath located here in Arbor Creek. This home is not only in a very beautiful neighborhood, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous home with a great layout, but it also has a really beautiful pool in the back. So let's go inside and take a look. Walking into this home here, you'll see right ahead is the living room. And then to the right here, you'll find a really neat little office space, which is fairly common in these craftsman style bungalows. Now heading into the living room, you'll see a nice spacious and open layout. Uh, with all these windows surrounding giving just an enormous amount of natural light. And right here through the living room you'll find maybe a little breakfast area with a beautiful view of the pool with the surrounding windows. And this kitchen is nicely equipped but also conveniently located near the entrance to go out to the pool, perfect for entertaining. And right outside the kitchen here, you'll find the dining room between the kitchen and the entryway. Then heading back towards where the two bedrooms lie, you'll find the laundry room. And then you're gonna immediately find your first bedroom on this side of the home here. And one of the neat features it has between the two bedrooms on this side, you've got a little extra space here. Could be a kid's playroom, extra storage. And then on the other side of that, you've got this other bedroom. And then right outside of these bedrooms, 
conveniently located is a full bathroom here. Now this is a three bed, two bath, so this is one of the two full bathrooms here in this home. Now heading back through the living room, as you can see, very well lit. We're gonna head back towards the primary suite, a really nice size room for the primary bedroom. And of course, connected to that, you'll have the primary bathroom, of course, with a really nice stand-up shower and a full jacuzzi bathtub, double vanity sink here, and a really a great amount of space here in this walk-in closet. And of course, out to the back, my favorite feature of the home is this backyard, which has your very own pool. Look at this neat little pool here. Just perfect for relaxing out here during the summer and entertaining. Really just a great view out here. And all of this for under $450,000. Well, I could definitely get used to this, but looks like we got a couple other houses we wanna take a look at. So let's head over to the next one and I'll see you there. Beautiful evening out here in West Edmond where we are in Griffin Park. Here's a beautiful three bed with a flex room and an office and two and a half baths. So this house just hit the market three days ago. It's absolutely beautiful. It's right behind me here. So let's go check it out. Now walking in this home, the first thing you'll notice is this great living space here in the front, like a second den that leads directly into this very open living room. And I really just love the high vaulted ceilings and the exposed beams. And this kitchen is just absolutely beautiful. Plenty of counter space with granite countertops throughout. This is a 2015 build, so all very new feeling style. Now this is a three bed, two and a half bath. One of the great things about this home is this right here is a bonus room. Could be used as a theater room or potentially even another bedroom. It's a very large room. And then right down this hallway on this side of the home, you're gonna have your two actual bedrooms. This one in the middle being the first. And then between these two bedrooms on this side of the home, you have access to a full bathroom with a double vanity. Just a very nice bathroom over here on this side of the home. And on the other side of that, you will find the second bedroom on this side of the home. Pretty similar to that other bedroom there, so if you have kids, they won't be fighting over the bedrooms. Now down the hallway towards the main living space, you have this half bathroom, and then leading out to the garage, this beautiful laundry room. Very spacious. And now heading back towards the other side of the home, you've got this office here, or it could be an additional bonus room as well, which is right next to the primary suite. Now this primary suite is absolutely beautiful and very accommodating. You'll see over here in the corner, there's almost its own little den area with a fireplace and an entrance to the backyard. Also equipped with this beautiful, very large bathroom with a jacuzzi tub, a full standing shower. You've got the double vanity, of course, and through the bathroom, you have access to this very large walk-in closet. Now, this home is also equipped with a very nice sized back patio and a pretty large yard back here. So this home is listed at $465,000, just a great home. As you can see, just another beautiful home over here in Griffin Park located in West Edmond. I've got one more house I'd like to show you. Let's head over there. We are back over here on the northeastern side of Edmond in a really nice neighborhood called the Preserve at Covell Valley. Lots of new construction happening over here and I wanted to feature a new home here in the 400,000s. This one built by a builder called Beacon Homes, which I've featured on this channel before. And this one is just a really nice home. So. It's right behind me right here. Three bed, two and a half bath. Let's uh, head in and check it out. All right, guys, as we enter this home, just fair warning, this home is not yet complete, but it is very close. So you'll find some unfinished edges, but for the most part, this house looks outstanding. As you see, plenty of windows and an open concept living room with kitchen. I really love the very clean color choices here with the quartz countertops and plenty of cabinet space. As you can see, there are floor to ceiling cabinets and a nice walk-in pantry. On the way back to the bedrooms, you'll notice nice little details like this fireplace with the wood trim 
And this home has a bonus room right here to my left. So you can use that for potentially an office or an extra living space. And here is the master bedroom, really a good size room and just an absolutely gorgeous bathroom here with some very unique choices with the tile, a stand up shower and a bathtub of course, and the tile wraparounds that just really set it off. And of course, this is gonna have the walk-in closet with plenty of space. Now on the other side of the living room, you'll find the entrance to the three car garage, as well as the laundry room. Once again, with that unique tile choice. Now on the other side of the home, you're gonna find the other two bedrooms. Now again, this is a three bed, two and a half bath. This full bathroom is shared between these two bedrooms and the other half bathroom was not completely finished, but beautiful home at $442,000. Beacon Homes makes a beautiful home. All right, so if you're still with us, you're really starting to get a feel of the different neighborhoods throughout Edmond in the 300s and the 400,000s. Now keep in mind, the median home price in Edmond is 350,000, so these are actually a really good representation of what homes are looking like throughout Edmond. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we're not just gonna discuss the pros, so let's get into some of the cons of the Edmond area. Let's check them out. All right, now, so as we're talking about some of the cons of Edmond, Oklahoma, it only makes sense to start with the home prices. In Edmond, Oklahoma, you're so certainly going to spend more money on a home on average than you will in Oklahoma City proper. The median home price in Oklahoma City as a whole is still under $250,000, whereas in Edmond right now, the median home price is just over $350,000. So you can see it's actually quite a bit more to buy a home in the Edmond area. So when weighing the pros and cons of the Edmond area, you really have to determine if paying that much extra for housing is going to be worth all the pros that come along with it. And that, of course, is up to you to decide. Now, the next con to discuss on our list today is the cost of living. The cost of living in Edmond, Oklahoma is 14% more than it is in Oklahoma City. Now, to be fair, a good chunk of that is the cost of housing, but you are still going to pay slightly more in utilities and you're going to shell out a few more bucks when it comes to food, groceries, transportation, clothing, and childcare. Now, the next con on my list here is once again a little bit anecdotal, but in my experience, the traffic seems to be quite a bit worse in Edmond versus the rest of Oklahoma City, especially during rush shower. And look, I'm not a civil engineer, but sometimes I wonder if those stoplights need to be retimed. But I'm also well aware as a real estate agent, nobody is asking for my input. Now, the next thing on my cons list is not necessarily specific to the Edmond area, but if you're going to live in the Edmond area, you're going to need a car. It is frankly just not a very walkable city. And again, that's not unique to Edmond. That's pretty much true of the entire Oklahoma City metro. But I thought it was worth mentioning today because if you're thinking about making the move to the Edmond area, you're going to absolutely need a car and so that's going to be something you want to consider. And also something very important on our cons list today is the cost of property tax. The effective property tax rate here in the Oklahoma City area is 0.87%. Last year in Edmond, Oklahoma, the average person paid just over 1% in property taxes. So if you decide to buy a home in the Edmond area, not only are you going to spend a little more on the home itself, but be prepared to pay a little bit more in property taxes as well. All right, so as with anywhere, there are going to be pros and cons to the Edmond area. So I hope that gave you an honest look at both. All right, so since we've been looking at specific listings in the 300,000s and also specific listings in the 400,000s, I wanted to just take a general look at some great neighborhoods throughout Edmond. So I have personally chosen my five favorite neighborhoods throughout all of Edmond. So let's go. Located on the west side of Edmond is a beautiful neighborhood called Lone Oak. Now, Lone Oak is actually a series of smaller neighborhoods all in the same cluster. But for the purposes of this video, it's just Lone Oak. So don't come at me, Lone Oak Cove moms. And you stay out of this Lone Oak East dads. Now, Lone Oak has a handful of already established neighborhoods, but they actually have several builders still developing Lone Oak North. So let me know if you're looking to buy new construction, this would be a great option. Not only does Lone Oak have beautiful homes, typically in the low 300s all the way to the mid 400s, but the neighborhood is conveniently located right near Hefner Parkway with convenient access to the Turnpike or straight down south to downtown Oklahoma City. It's also located only minutes away from Quail Springs Mall and tons of great shopping and restaurants. Add to that, Lone Oak is located in the Deer Creek Schools District, which is a top 10 district as rated by Niche.com, so you can see why this made my list of Edmond favorites. Still west of I-35 in Edmond and more to the north side, you've got Oak Tree Park. Located just south of Oak Tree proper, which sits on a stunning golf course, you'll find the beautiful sister neighborhood of Oak Tree Park, where homes from the main Oak Tree neighborhood will 
will range from about half a million dollars to upwards of two million plus. Oak Tree Park offers homes from the mid 400s up to about the mid to high 500s. One of the things I love about this neighborhood is the vast amount of mature trees and landscape. It really gives you a cozy neighborhood vibe. Located in the northwest part of Edmond, you'll still have easy access to downtown Edmond while still being to access various parts of West Edmond and Oklahoma City. So if you're looking for premium Edmond living for under 500,000, Oak Tree Park should be on your radar. Heading over east of I-35 in East Edmond is the neighborhood of Woodland Park. This beautiful and relatively newer neighborhood is located only minutes from Lake Arcadia, but still only about 15 minutes from the University of Central Oklahoma and downtown Edmond. Living out in East Edmond kind of gives you a way to live outside of the congestion you'll find in the heart of Edmond, while still allowing you relatively quick access. Also living not too far from I-35 allows for convenient travel to any part of Oklahoma City. Now, there are still a couple builders developing the east block of this neighborhood, and most of those homes are in the 500s, but you still can find new and pre-existing homes in Woodland Park in the mid to high 400s. Back over in West Edmond is one of my favorite neighborhoods called Valencia. This neighborhood sits right near tons of shopping and restaurants just to the south, and has a wide range of beautiful homes typically ranging from the low 300s all the way up to the high 400s. With the primary builder being Ideal Homes, and their higher end builder Landmark Fine Homes, the majority of the homes in Valencia are craftsman style homes. But once again, with downtown Edmond only a short drive away and highway access nearby to take you into OKC, Valencia caters to a wide range of budgets in a great location. Just to the west of Valencia is one of my very favorite neighborhoods in all of West Edmond, The Grove. Much like Valencia, The Grove offers a wide range of homes, typically from the low 300s up to the mid 400s. Whether you're wanting a beautiful homes by Tabor, Home Creations, Beacon Homes, or Sean Forth Homes, Homes. The Grove maintains a contemporary style throughout this neighborhood that offers a little something for everyone. And by the way, they are just now building out the very last phase of the Grove. So please reach out if you're interested in buying one of these last few homes in this beautiful neighborhood. All right, so for those of you who have seriously been considering the Edmond area here in the Oklahoma City Metro, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you're interested in learning more about one of the other major suburbs here in the OKC Metro, Norman, I made this video right here that you should watch next. And as always, until next time, I certainly hope to okay. See you soon. See ya.